Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest 2 The Vengeance. Now, we got in trouble last time out with the captain, but apparently it's not a game over, it's not really a big deal. However, we are missing something that's stopping us from being able to go in the car. Uh, apparently I was told what that was earlier in the game, I didn't take any notice of it, but I have since looked at the game manual, and I believe, looking at the checklist of things that an officer should carry, uh, we're missing our field kit. So I've also been told to uh, look around everywhere, so we're, we're going to do that to start off with, and then uh, see if we can figure out where the hell this thing is. Uh, you are in Lytton's newly remodeled police station. This is the hall. There are several doors, a counter, and an evidence window. Okay, so I think I'm just going to look at everything. Uh, look doors. A door. Okay, look counter. You're far too... You're too far away to see any details. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing this is the counter here. Built into the back of the counter are locked storage bins. One of them has your name on it. Look storage bin I guess one of them has your name on it uh, what can I do for you today field kit I'm not sure we get field kit you're not close enough okay get field kit you're not close enough uh, I mean it's got it's got to be here somewhere then hasn't it get field kit you're not close enough Get field kit. What? Get field kit. You're not close enough. Is it like... Get field kit? You can't get that. Okay, so it's got to be out here somewhere. Get field kit? You're not close enough. Okay get field kit <laughs> this is crazy oh yeah f3 as well i've been told i've remembered it i know you guys were like you never remember the f3 i've remembered the f3 <laughs> uh get field kit the bin isn't open oh there's a bin here look bin built into the back of the counter are locked storage bins run what you unlock and open the bin you see your field kit get field kit you remove the field kit from the storage bin. So I guess the storage bin is here. But it said about the locked thing there, which is odd. Uh, also, that that is like impossible. <laughs> That's weird, I'll be honest. Uh, let's look at the field kit then. <clears throat> your detective's field kit is used to carry various things you will need in your course of your investigations. Plastic baggie, small camera, casting plaster glass vial, eye drop, a fingerprint powder, fingerprint brush, fingerprint tape. This is definitely more sophisticated than the first game, isn't it? Uh, that is pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, right, okay, well, how do we stop looking at that? Can we Can we just head out? Will that, yeah, okay, that gets rid of it. Fine. Well, let's save. Um, well, I saved over in trouble, but we'll, we'll make another save and, and just call it field kit. Fine, um, let's get in the car then, I guess. Maybe now we can leave? Unlock car. Door is already unlocked. Oh yeah, we left it open. <laughs> oh wait, hang on, what did that say? You should put your field kit in the trunk first. Okay, fine. Well, I mean, it's quite nice of the game to tell us to do that. It seems like the type of thing it would just penalise you for later, to be honest. Um, oh, do you know what, let's look in the trunk then, while we're here. The car's trunk is empty, fine. Put field kit in trunk. You place your field kit inside the trunk. Okay, close trunk. Do we have to lock the trunk? The trunk is already closed. We do not. Fine. Uh, so I'm guessing we're heading to the jail because that's where. Where, Sunny? What's the rush anyway? Because that's where Baines escaped from, right? So I'm guessing that's where we're going to go. What's that piece of paper? You're spinning your wheels looking at that. Okay, fine. Um, in car. So I'm guessing now we might be able to leave. Um, is it still... Oh no, it's not control D to use the radio. Keith looks confused, but we don't have anything new to report, Sonny. Alright, fine. Well, drive. Where to? Drive to jail. Yeah, grunts Keith. Let's see if they've managed to keep any bad guys in. Keith grabs the mic and calls dispatch. Dispatch 53 Mary 2 is 10-8 from the office. 
Okay, what's going on? Dispatch comes on the air and responds. Uh, for three, Mary, two, ten, four. Dispatch copies ten. Oh, God. Um, be advised we're en route to Lytton City Jail. Okay. Uh, we copy you're en route to Lytton City Jail. So far, so good. Um... Do we have to control this? While driving to the jail, Keith comments to you, Sonny, this escape has got to be a real nightmare for you. On the other hand, he continues, it must be a super nightmare for that poor correction. I have traffic for you 50 from 53 Mary 1 while we got interrupted there. This radio thing seems quick. Uh, dispatch, go ahead with your traffic. We're just going to ignore codes, I think, for the sake of being able to read. Where are you, Bonds? You cringe at Captain Fletcher Hall's angry tone of voice. What now? Violation called insubord. I mean, what have we done? Literally, what have we done wrong? Suspended for two days? For what? I mean, is that like a game over? Yep. <laughs> I swear that was where we were meant to go. Fine, we're in the car. I guess we've got something else to do. Okay, we're getting out. After getting out of the car, the Keith says, man, am I glad to get out of there? It's almost like Camel Arena, fine. Um, I mean, what else could we possibly need to do? Unlock and open the door. All we were told to do was like, listen for transmissions about Banes and to, to investigate, right? Wasting valuable time. I mean, talk captain. Captain is on the phone. I mean, I'm really not sure what else we should be doing at, at this point. I mean, maybe we need to go somewhere else. I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure. He didn't really ask us to do anything else. Handcuffs, old mugshot, LPD business card. Unmarked car keys. Handgun. I mean, do we have to get the... Do we have to, like, take the file? Uh, look to Selly. Uh, no, look Baines. Take file? You can only look at one file at a time. Remove file? Not sure what you want me to do. Put back file. Close drawer. I mean, I literally don't know what we've missed. Um, we've got our field kit. We've got everything else. Take ammo out of gun. Remove ammo. Not sure what you want. I, I, I don't really know what else we need to do here. Um, this is really weird. Um, let's just try again, I suppose. Open door. What do you mean we're not close enough? Open door. So Keith comes with us. I have traffic for you, fine. Go ahead with your traffic. Where are you, Bonds? I mean, what? I... I literally have no idea what we supposedly haven't done. We've done another two days off of him. I mean, we've done the shooting range. We've done the shooting range. We found a mugshot, which I've been told isn't the mugshot we need, but apparently I don't need to worry about that for now. We've adjusted our gun and everything. Um... I mean, 
I have no idea. We've got our field kit, which is here on the, the sort of like handbook checklist. I, I don't know what we've missed. I really can't think of anything. What could we possibly have missed? Open the door. Yeah. We've got to have missed something in here, right? The only thing I can think of is that it's something to do with this computer. Maybe we do need to use it? Uh, okay, C uh, and then criminal. I mean, so apparently you do that and then you just like type in which one you want. Criminals. But then it just takes us back there. Criminal. And then it just, I mean. I literally, I am very confused. This game is very confusing. Um, so it's like a personnel, right? Okay, fine. Let's go. Let's go back. So criminal, Sierra, or personnel, right? So we should be able to do C D, and then type in criminal. But it just doesn't take us there. Baines. I am baffled, in all honesty. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what we're missing. This is really odd. Do we have to... I mean, we've got those passwords, which were like ice cream and pistachio and things like that, right? But... Criminal... But it just takes us, if I hit return, it just takes us back to command again. Uh, command, so like, I would think that you'd put in CD, criminal, and then it would come up with the criminal section, but it just doesn't seem to do that, which is really odd. Um, I mean, at this point, I'm wondering if, like, the game is glitched somehow. Because you have your orders, Bonds. Yeah, I know, and I'm trying to follow them, but you literally stop us from going in the car. <laughs> I, I don't... Baines. I'm not sure what you want me to do. I mean... Are we, like, in the wrong clothes or something? Maybe? I, I mean, I don't think there were any other clothes. Oh, yeah, the number. I've forgotten it. Um, look, card. 36412. 36-4-12. Yeah, see, there's no other clothes, so it's not that. We've got the field kit. I, I genuinely don't know oh there's loads of cars here now weird open trunk look trunk field kit uh okay get field maybe we have to like check the field kit check field kit not sure okay put field kit in trunk Closed trunk. I mean, is it something like we didn't do the walk around of the vehicle? Is is that what was wrong? Because obviously we had to do that in the first game, didn't we? We had to do the, the walk around. But. I mean, it doesn't seem like that's a thing in this one, maybe. Look car. Check car. Not sure what you want me to do. Examine car. I am very confused. Very confused. Open door. 
Yeah, okay, if I open the door. Get, okay. Um, radio dispatch? Traffic. It's, it's like literally the second we get in the car, he does it. But like, he didn't do that earlier. So, be advised we're en route to the jail. Okay. Fine, we saw this before. Uh, the Litton City Jail. I mean, what? You go ahead, Sonny, I'll stay out and have a smoke. Why are we now here? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> why did that work that time? I, d I genuinely don't understand why it didn't work the first couple of times, but this time it did work. If you guys know, please leave a comment below and let me know, because this is going to drive me absolutely crazy until you guys see this episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.